Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna show you guys how to add a hard drive to an existing storage pool inside storage spaces. One thing to keep in mind is you wanna back up everything that's on this hard drive because it's, it will be formatted, so you will lose everything on there. And this is for tutorial purposes only, so I'm not liable for anything that happens. So in my case, I'm gonna format my F drive. I'm gonna add my F drive to my storage spaces. So everything inside here has already been backed up. So what we want to do is hit the Windows key and then type in Manage Storage Spaces. And we're going to attempt to add it with a GUI first. So click on Change Settings and press Yes. Then click on Add Drives. And in my case, it's very simple. I have the one that, that's my 10 terabyte, which is really 9.09 terabytes. So I, I select that. But one way to verify this is you can also uh, press Windows R and then type in disk part and press enter and click yes obviously and type in list disk this is going to show you all the disks that are on this hard drive so I could see that that's the only 9 terabyte which is really 10 terabyte drive so for a fact that it is disk 0 so basically just make sure you have the correct disk selected you can also go to disk management that would also help as well but in this case, I know this is the correct one, and I'm going to click on Add Drives. And so it says Can't Prepare Drives basically doesn't have access to it because something else is accessing it. So we're going to use the PowerShell and Disk Partition to add this, and that way it's going to add it. So go ahead and click on Disk Part, and then press uh, type in Select Disk 0, press Enter, and then type in Clean, press Enter. And what this is going to do, this is basically going to clean the entire drive. So again, make sure everything was backed up before you do all these steps. So this is going to clean the drive. And now we are going to go to disk management. So hit the Windows key and type in disk and press enter, which is going to take us to disk management. So once we're here, it already shows us that disk zero is unallocated, so it's good to go. So just move this to the side and I'm like, okay, let me try one more time. Add drives. How can anything access it, right? Because it's not selected, it's unformatted. So it's like, okay, click add drives and it's like, nope, still the same issue. It's like something's accessing it. It's like, well, how is that possible? You can even disable and enable the device. That sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, but the PowerShell method does work. So we're gonna use the PowerShell method. So hit Windows X on the keyboard and then select Windows PowerShell, but the admin version and then select yes. Feel free to resize the PowerShell, just to make it easier to read, and close this part. We don't need that anymore. So type in get-physical-disk. So this is going to show us all of the disks, and all the numbers correlate to this. They all correlate the same place. So basically in disk management and disk part, all the numbers are the same. So we want this disk 0 here which again if we go to disk management scroll up we'll see that yes it's still the same disk so that's really the serial number that we need so then copy this and then press enter on here which is basically going to show us serial number to unique ID because we really just need the unique ID so we can see the last one is actually the serial number and that's the unique ID that we want so go ahead and type in or copy paste in reset dash physical disk space dash unique ID and enter the unique ID. So when you select something in PowerShell and then right click, it copies it and then when you right click it pastes it. So that's just a shortcut that I'm using here. So go ahead and press enter and we can see it actually did something here. Now what we want to do is get get it and set it to an environment variable, which is physical disk to add, PD to add. So go ahead and paste this here or, or type it in. And, and again, make sure the unique ID matches the hard drive that we're trying to add. So type in get dash storage pool, which is going to show us the storage pools that are available. And we want to know the friendly name, which is called storage pool as one name. So go to the notepad and then update the name to match it exactly with no spaces obviously in this case. So go ahead and copy this. But before we paste it, we want to type in the dollar sign PD to add. To verify that the environment variable is pointing to the hard drive that we do want to add, just to double check. 
and we can also see that the can pool flag is set to true so it is ready to go and to be added notice earlier it was set to false so the reset physical disk that's basically what sets the flag to true essentially so go ahead and paste this by right clicking on PowerShell and go ahead and press enter so now this is gonna physically add the drive and it's basically what the GUI was failing at now this hard drive is actually added so when we go to manage storage spaces we can see that we can see that if you click on change we can see that now it's set to 41.8 terabytes where before it was set to 32.7 terabytes but notice that the storage space size that we actually which is the usable size hasn't changed and that's because we need to actually change it here so we're going to type in get virtual disk just to show us the space efficiency which is 66.65 percent essentially 66.7 percent so we're going to open up a calculator and multiply 41.8 times the 66.65 percent to give us the number that we need which is 27.85 so go ahead and type in the 27.8 for simplicity so we could see the including resiliency is one below but when we go to 27.9 it becomes the same resiliency so we just want to be one below so basically again just take your total pool capacity which is 41.8 and multiply that by 0.667 which is going to give you the number and don't round up just select the first three digits so 27.8 in my case and click change store space and now this is going to go in and update the usable size but once this is done once we go to my computer you're going to see that it actually hasn't updated it's still 21.2 terabytes and the reason for that is because we need to actually extend the volume for this we need disk part again so go ahead and press the windows key and then type in disk part and press enter and select yes and once it pops up now we're going to type in list volume and this is going to show us all the volumes notice we're actually volume 6 and we know that because of the drive letter the pool data and the fact that it's 27 terabytes so we're going to select volume 6 press enter and then we're going to type in extend file system press enter again and type in exit and now it's pretty much done once we go to my computer if you click F5 to refresh or if you go in and go back you're gonna see that it's now 27.7 terabytes so with that guys hopefully this helped thank you guys for watching hit that subscribe button new videos every single week and if you guys have any questions or comments please leave it in the comment sections below thank you